I've taken up a new hobby. So I'm now shooting Super 8 film. This is just a fun uh, family outing, going for a hike with friends, which I'm shot on Super 8 color reversal film, which I developed at home and scanned at home on a consumer scanner. Now this is the uh, results after a little bit of a color correction. It's got a, a lovely vintage feel, even though this was only a week old. Clearly need to clean the lens there. I'm learning how to get the focus right on this camera and how to get the exposure right, which I'm still not quite nailing, but it has been a fun learning experience. However, what you've seen is actually after months of reverse engineering and hacking a consumer film scanner, which actually doesn't get this good a result out of the box. This is a Kodak Real scanner that I bought back in January for scanning some family uh, reels. But I have um, modified it, hacked this firmware, and replaced the lens to try and improve the resolution. So here you have a sort of before and after. On the left is a original lens I'm running mostly original firmware, although I have turned off the auto white balance and increased the bit rate a bit because the bit rate is terrible on the stock firmware and the auto white balance just drifts all over the place, making it hard to correct. But so they're both running hacked firmware, but on the right is the one you saw earlier. This is running a um, much higher resolution lens that is using the, which is zoomed much more in the frame. So there's only about 600 by 400 pixels that are exposing the image in the stock camera, even though the firmware scales it all the way up beyond HD, which is just pointless. The one on the right is actually seeing close to 1600 by 1200 pixels of actively scanning the, the film into the, into the compression engine and so on. But I'm not without issues that I still need to solve before I really have hit the sweet spot. You may notice there's a little bit of jitter on the top of the frame on the image on the right. And that is strangely the fact that the hardware seems to be starting to collect the image as it's moving the frame. And so sometimes it's worse, sometimes it's not there at all. So the timing is not great in the hardware. So um, that's more hacking I'm gonna try and work out and any input on that would be greatly appreciated because it saves me having to scan films multiple time and of course introduce more scratches and damage. The other issue is much more related to the compression itself. Even though the left and right images are both using H.264 compression, there's some chroma ghosting on the firmware that I have hacked further and I don't know why that is because I haven't changed the encoder itself. It is of course working on a more complex image and so any ideas that someone might have for why I'm getting these ghosting artifacts, it could be that I'm somehow reusing an image buffer or something but I'm not able to really determine what it is. And so you can see these within the very dark parts of the image on the top and bottom of the frame, there's these little every other frame or a few frames on, a few frames off. So any ideas on how to fix that? For these last two bugs, I will release these hacks to the world and let people make uh, all these real scanners so much better. Thank you for your feedback and input and watching this content.